You read the description and clicked on the video. My TLDR, no. But kind of. Taking chance out on live, learn to dance. Before we start talking about an 85B filter itself, there's a couple pieces of groundwork we have to lay down. The first piece of information is that in the film world, there are two colors of white. How many countries are in this country? Four. Obviously in real life, there are infinite colors of white, but for a film, there are two. It's either daylight balance or tungsten balance. Something can be pure white, but it changes because pure white is the thing that reflects all color back to it. So let's take this boring piece of paper here. Right now, these lights are set to daylight balance and therefore they are to, to, to this color white. This looks normal, right? But let's say that though we shot this like under nighttime lights under like those yellow normal lights or like a candle or something would look a little bit different wouldn't it like this this looks different now doesn't it that same white piece of paper doesn't quite look the same but i can make a good quick change on my camera and make it look white again Ta-da! it's fixed look at that you wouldn't even know or we can turn those lights back to what they were back to daylight colors now does that look different yeah of course it does all right let's go to normal for film photography there are the two different colors basically there is daylight balanced which is like 95% of all films. And then there is tungsten balance, which is either Vision 3 500T or 200T. 500T is also semi still 800T. That's the same thing. But it's just those, those two films are the only ones that are currently made. Everything else is daylight balance. Like most things in still film photography, this has a pretty strong relationship to the movie industry. In general, when they're making movies, if you were shooting in the daytime, you would use daylight film. And if you're shooting it indoors at night, you would use the tungsten film because of lights. But let's say you wanted to do the opposite. Let's say you wanted to use that, that tungsten film in the daytime. Whether you were a professional and you wanted to just have one film stock so it looks really consistent across an entire film, or you are not a professional and let's say you're shooting Super 8 or something like that and you want to be able to use your film across day and night, well, you gotta come up with a solution. And they made one. For that, you'd use this. I can't quite get the monocle to stay on. Well, it bounces out because right now this looks like trash, doesn't it? I have my camera set to be tungsten balanced, so it's pretending to be basically tungsten film, and all my lights here are set to daylight. So what this little filter did, and you could see that change when it went from like this, where hey, that looks pretty good, to this, which doesn't. Also, our digital editing software is pretty good too. I can try to fix it. I don't know, it's pretty good but like, let me put this back on and let's, let's compare. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know that I like shooting Vision 3 500T through my film cameras. Uh, I do it partly because it's uh, inexpensive and I just, I like the looks of it, but there are definitely some caveats with it. The first caveat being is that it's daytime a lot and I want to take pictures in the daytime. So that's where that 85B filter comes in. I have one here mounted on my Leica, and this is like my main daily use camera. This is what like sits around my house. This is what I take pictures of my family and my kids and just kind of always goes with me. Then if for some reason, if I'm in the nighttime or whatever, I can just, now I can take pictures, it's great. It's actually awesome because it's super versatile this way. Here's the thing, this is not the only camera I use. Like this, this is my Olympus Infinity Mini. And like almost all point and shoots, it doesn't have a place where I could mount an 85B filter on it. I mean, I, I guess I could like hold it in front of this for every single photo, but like that's just not practical, is it? That's where digital editing comes in. It is definitely possible to take those photos and shoot them at the wrong color temperature and then fix them on a computer. This is super normal and people do it all the time. Now I'm gonna start putting up here and for the next little bit, you're just gonna see a lot of variations here. On the left are always going to be photos that were shot without an 85B filter and the photos on the right are ones that were shot with an 85B filter. And do they look the same? No. Do they look bad? No. So that's kind of, I think that's my big point here is that your photos will look fine if you're shooting a tungsten based film in daylight and then color correcting on a computer. The systems are there. Negative Lab Pro is super smart. Uh, Lightroom, super smart. Anything else, it, it can get you a lot of the way there, but it doesn't quite look the same. Now, you might not care, and that's totally okay. Especially if I was out there and I shot a camp point and shoot and I was gonna do like a lot of night stuff and a little bit of twilight and then did and kind of jump in between them and stuff. And I was gonna send it off to a professional lab. Like I would have no problems. 
And like that, that like city still in the daytime is such a vibe and it looks cool. But for me, as someone who shoots a lot and I want that natural look, I want things to look like it actually did for a lot of what I do. That's where the 85B filter comes in. And in one little test here that you can look at, these two photos I shot on the same day at the same time. So I, I took a picture with a filter off and then a picture with a filter on. And you can see them right next to each other. I had the exact same settings. I should note, an 85B filter does slow down your photos by a two thirds of a stop. So, you know, plan accordingly. But that said, I was overexposing things by a fair amount. So I just kind of let them be, just kind of go. It's actually funny because if you look at the film itself, you can see the difference, even just with this film sitting on a, on a light table. But once they get into to Lightroom, once they get converted, they both look fine. The photos themselves are not my greatest photos in the world, but uh, you can see this one here that's been color corrected. It does have a bit of that vibingness to it. It's got a little bit of kind of a green cast in the shadow, whereas this one on the right definitely feels a lot truer to kind of that just winter northwesty look that is very prevalent around here this time of year. So should you use an 85B filter? Things that to think about whether it's worth investing in these. They're not crazy expensive. They're probably 30 to $50, but that's probably three rolls of film you could just buy instead. So I don't know, maybe it's not worth it to you. I would pretty much only recommend you use one of these if you are shooting a lot and you're shooting with a rangefinder. If you're like me and you're buying hundreds of feet of 500T, and then re-rolling your own film, it definitely is worth the investment. And it's worth the time and you're trying to make your film look right. But if you're not doing that, or if you're shooting with an SLR, again, I don't know if I think it's worth it. Because a rangefinder, you're looking through and I'm not actually looking through that filter. I'm looking through the regular viewfinder and it looks normal. It's just the lens and the film that are working together to make things work. Let's say I was using this here with my SLR. I'm looking through the viewfinder and I'm looking through that filter. So this camera, which is already a little bit tricky to get a shallow depth of field uh, focused correctly, becomes even harder. Because remember that two thirds stop, plus it's just yellow. It's just like harder to see, my eyes not used to that. And so it's just, it's not quite as easy to get that focus correct. The other thing to remember about these things, they get dirty. It's like all, all lenses, clean it. Don't be like me, clean it. Do you need an 85B to shoot tungsten based film in the daytime? No. What do you think? Do you use them? Do you, do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be around. Taking a chance out on a limb, learning to dance. Let's play pretend. I've never been.